Morrison Made Leather is a local successful business right here in the tri-state. We got to sit down with Jeffrey Morrison, the owner, who tells us why he thinks he's had such success. He was a former firefighter, now going full-time, making his small leather goods right in his basement, making six times as much as he once did. And he credits TikTok for making his product skyrocket. And this is coming from a guy who had no social media before. Why leather? What made you so interested in that? Honestly, it was less about leather. I was always, I loved leather wallets. I always wanted to make my own wallet. Yeah. Um, but more so the idea of just like building my own brand and business. I saw other guys doing what I'm doing now on YouTube and I watched them for years before I ever even got started. When did you make your first wallet? Cause you said you're cheap. So you made yeah. your first wallet and you were like, I'm never buying one. Yeah, I, was, I had this wallet that I always wanted. I just could never get myself to buy it. And so I made it and that was in like 2019. Okay. Which I actually bought my first leather, like my first leather kit back in like 2017. And it just sat around for years because I could never get myself to actually do it. And then 2019, I finally made my first wallet and it just never stopped after that. So when did you say to yourself, okay, it's time to go? Like, was it right after you made your first wallet or like when were you like, nope, this is a business now, like let's do it? Yeah, I, like I said, from the very beginning, it was like when I, after I made my first wallet, I was like, okay, let's go. Like I need to figure out how to, to do this, like mostly get on social media to make this something that I can do forever. It was never really like something I wanted to do for fun. It was more of like, I wanna do, I wanna build a business, build a brand, something that I love to do, something that I can support my family with. Were you a social media person before this? I had zero social media. I deleted all social media that I had like my senior year of high school. So for like four or five years, I had no social media. So when I got onto Instagram, it was the hardest thing ever for me to do. For one, I had no clue what I was doing. And for two, it's just like, I, I actually, prefer not to have social media. From someone that goes from no yeah. social media yeah. to like 800,000 followers on TikTok, how did you make that shift? Lots of push from friends and family, like my wife specifically, just like they probably made my account for me, my first post I can remember. So it was a lot of just like, you got, you have to, like if you wanna do this, you have to almost. TikTok has been kind of your takeoff. Yes. Tell me that progression and why and how much success it's been bringing to Morrison Made Leather. So it's a cool story because the way that my business got started was pretty much through TikTok. I, I, TikTok in the beginning back in 2019, it was like nobody was doing videos yet. We were all on Instagram posting pictures. Yeah. And so um, a couple people got over onto TikTok and started showing the process. and. I was like, oh shoot, I need to probably try that out, like figure that out. And so when I first got on to TikTok in 2021, that's when things for us, like the dream kind of became a reality where it was like, we started making sales. Like, oh my gosh, this is working. Like people are seeing the process, they're getting on my website and they're buying. So that's actually how I got started and I quit my job back in 2021, which looking back, I'm like, man, that was a big jump to take because that wouldn't have worked for forever. But gradually things just continued to like, to work out in, in different ways, but now, being on TikTok, there's the TikTok shop. And so um, because of the TikTok shop, our business has you know, just blown up in a way I could have never imagined. Um, what are your sales like now compared to 2020? Um, I would say five to 10X. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just because of the reach of, and just the accessibility through being able to buy on TikTok. Yeah. It's just been, yeah, a game changer for our business. So I have like um, a hammer, like a little mall, uh, mallet and just like some hole punches and like a little slot punch and just banging everything. And so the first two weeks at TikTok shop, I was selling like 100, 150 belts a day and I was down here all day just swinging a hammer. And I mean for 14 hours. So it was like very How quickly. How sore were your arms? It was seriously, it was like very quickly I had to find a solution because it was just, it really, you don't think, like when I was making five, 10 a day, yeah. it wasn't, it's not a big deal. But like doing that for, for a week straight for 12 hours a day was like, we gotta figure out how to, how to figure this could out. Could you even lift your arms the next day? I could, but it was, yeah, it was a lot. But oh it was my. fun, it was great. Okay. Um, but it was also annoying because you could hear it all throughout the house. So my wife probably was getting tired of it. Do you fancy yourself an influencer? Man, I hate, I, I don't think anybody likes that word anymore. It's just kind of like, especially when you get on TikTok now, everybody's trying to sell you everything, right? So we're kind of all overwhelmed by that. But 
yeah, everybody, when they when we talk about it, it's like, you're an influencer, I guess. You know, you can't, it's inevitable. Why does that um, title make you cringe a little bit? I can see it, your shoulders get higher yeah. and you're like, really don't like that title. Why does that make you a little I don't know, honestly. It's probably just like a dumb little, uh, I don't know, dumb thing in my head. It's not a bad thing. Okay, l let me ask you this. Yeah. Aren't you afraid that if you show your process, you show all your tools, someone's gonna come and make this product better than you can? I guess, but I think in today's world, there's just so much reach on social media. It's just like, there's enough to go around. Okay. And honestly, the way that I got into it was watching people do that for me, and that's why I am where I am today. So it's almost like, kind of feel like you're giving back a little bit. And it's just like, it's it's more so fun. Yeah. It's less competitive and, and more fun. I don't think there's like, you know, if, if it was just like a local thing, yeah. maybe, you know, I wouldn't want all of us trying to sell locally here, but we're selling all over the world and all over the states. There's just, there's enough to go around, I think. What yeah. makes yours the best in your opinion? Why is it so different than anywhere else? The market has set me up just to hit a home run and it all comes back to just the material that I use. So there's, it's really important. There's three grades of leather. Most people have only ever heard of genuine leather. Mm -hmm. And so when they hear that, they think, oh, it's genuine, it's real. Whereas genuine is not a descriptive term. It's actually a, the title of the lowest grade of leather. So there's full grain leather, which is the best. There's top grain, it's kind of in the middle. And then there's genuine leather. And that's at the bottom. It's like, it's, I, I, I explain it by uh, the example of plywood. Plywood is just like, it's wood, but it's a bunch of little scraps of wood glued together, resurfaced. That's what genuine leather is. And that's why it, it cracks and it doesn't have the nice smell and it just doesn't last. So we use full grain leather and it's really as simple as that. It's like way less about what I do and more so just the quality of the material that I use is the best of the best. What is your advice to someone that like has a passion like you do for something and yeah. just has no idea where to start? Yeah, I remember being at that place just having no idea where to start. Like I said, it took me two years to even get started just dabbling in it and I always knew that I wanted to, but it's just like this mountain of, of you know, information and right. um, like learning the process and so, I don't know, I was just so passionate about it that eventually it was like, you just, and so now I just try to preach like, you gotta take baby steps. Like you have to start at the very beginning and you know, you're not gonna have instant success overnight. It took me years to, to get where I am now, but um, get on YouTube. YouTube is the way to go anymore. You can find out how to do anything. It's where I learned how to, you know, build this business, you know, aside from learning leather craft, but learning how to run a business. Yeah. Um, and just like trial and error, you know, you gotta get in, you just gotta, it's like you have to start taking the baby steps, um, running into those obstacles and just tackling obstacle one at a time. To order or look at some of Morrison made leather products, just hit that link below. You can also like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Local 12 has more consumer stories just like this. Don't forget to click the links and press subscribe.